death of former President Bush means to you, but some folks who might be able to answer it for them, former White, White House Chief of Staff and NBC News political analyst Andrew Card back with us as well. We also have retired four-star General Barry McCaffrey, who served under both George H.W. Bush and President Clinton, also an NBC military analyst. In the middle, John Meacham, distinguished professor at Vanderbilt University and NBC News contributor. Um, we sort of smiled at that moment when it is tough to sometimes come up with the words of how you will remember somebody who had the kind of life that George H.W. Bush had. He did a lot. World War II veteran and hero, president, CIA, congressman. He, he wore a lot of hats and meant a lot of different things to different people. Well, he touched so many people. He had empathy for so many people. His was not a selfish life. His was a sharing life. And as a result of that, there are people who are emotionally connected to him that you don't normally find mm. in politics. Yeah. And he was really very giving. And he never took. Let me talk a little bit about him as a political person, an internationalist, if you will, because it was 29 years ago to the day, today, General McCaffrey, that President Bush held that press conference with Mikhail Gorbachev. Uh, and we have some images of that, too, from 29 years ago today. Generally, it was heralded as the end of the Cold War. This is something that President Obama actually talked about in this 60 Minutes piece that aired. And I want to play you a little bit of that. What people don't appreciate fully, uh, even within his own party, is the degree to which he had to land the plane when the Berlin Wall comes down. You have chaos, potentially, in the former Soviet Union and Russia uh, and uncertainty in Europe. All those things could have gone haywire at any point. And uh, the, the restraint, the caution, the lack of spiking the football that uh, they showed uh, was, uh, I think, an enormous achievement. John, you were there when President Obama visited President Bush just a week and a half ago. Last week, last Tuesday, uh, six days ago. And what's remarkable is the consistency of Obama's message there. He talked about how much he appreciated the way the president had handled the end of the Cold War, talked about how... With President Bush? With President Bush, Bush yeah. Uh, Pre president Obama brought in a pair of socks with, I think, maybe dogs on them. I can't remember exactly. Uh, and then they, they chatted for a while. And the big message, there were two points that, that President Obama was making to President Bush. One was how brilliantly they had handled the Cold mm -hmm. War because it could have gone, and you can see how Obama would appreciate that, a, a man of order, and if Barack Obama is the Mr. Spock of American politics, mm -hmm. you know, the logic and, and all that. And uh, the other thing was talking about the big pieces of domestic legislation, uh, particularly the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is, it's almost impossible to imagine a Democratic Congress and Democratic president doing that today, much less a Republican president and a Democratic Congress. And I think, uh, President Obama, who has a sense of, of the sweep of history, uh, understood that he was talking to someone who embodied, in many ways, the best Washington could be, and that that felt a long, a long distance away. On the left side of your screen, you're seeing some of the family members starting to walk out as President Bush's casket is prepared to be loaded into the motorcade and taken to Ellington Field. You can see Sully, his service dog there being led around and there's that image that we were going to talk about later in the show that showed solely laying in front of the casket uh, tweeted out by Jim McGrath. Yeah. Yeah, John. Yeah. Uh, uh, beautiful portrait. Uh, he was in the flag draped coffin and, and Sully was there. Uh, the people who took care of President Bush in the past couple of years have been veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan and the service dog whom President Bush 43 said would come back to Walter Reed and continue his work. And here you see the flag draped casket of former President George Herbert Walker Bush being walked out. The beginning of his final trip to Washington. General McCaffrey. Yeah, well, it's quite a sight. Uh, I have a lot of memories of President Bush. I went to international arm control conference with him in Moscow and Helsinki. My enduring memory, though, Hallie, and I've got to underscore this, he came to join us Thanksgiving before the attack on Iraq in the first Gulf War. So he stands up there, and there are several thousand soldiers spread out, 24th ID, and he said, on Thanksgiving Day, World War II, I was flying my last mission in support of your division. Mm -hmm. Tremendous comfort to the soldiers there. Let's just watch for a moment. 
thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.